the strength and resilience shown by, uh, by people around the world in the face of, of terror attacks is truly inspiring. I'm Cormac McSweeney in Ottawa, where MPs today put their differences aside and held a moment of silence to pay tribute to the victims of the London terror attack, which unfortunately includes one Canadian. I now invite Ottawa members to stand. Rising in the House of Commons, many MPs offered their prayers, thoughts and condolences, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. It is sadness that I rise and offer our condolences to the family and friends of Christine Archibald, who was a victim of Saturday's horrific attacks in London. As I reaffirmed with Prime Minister May an hour ago, we stand in solidarity with the British people. And as you just heard, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau did speak with British Prime Minister Theresa May today. The two leaders offered each other condolences, but also reaffirmed their commitment in the battle against terrorism. We do know Canadian officials have been in contact with their UK counterparts and have offered any assistance they can give in the investigation into this attack. Now, despite the fact that there was a Canadian killed in this horrendous violence, Canada is not going to be increasing its terror threat level. Uh, the reason for that, according to the public safety minister, is that they don't have any information or a credible threat that would cause them to push that level up. It does remain at medium now where it's been since the Parliament Hill terror attack in 2014. But with attacks like the one in London uh, becoming a little bit more frequent, there are some fears today that something like that could happen here in Canada, especially with our Canada 150 celebrations just around around the corner. This obviously is going to be a very busy summer for uh, uh, for Canadians as we celebrate Canada 150 uh, together with all the normal range of activities that occur in the summer. We uh, continue to uh, look at every necessary measure to ensure that Canadians uh, can be safe and can have confidence uh, in their safety as we celebrate this wonderful anniversary as a country. Of course there will be large open celebrations across the country to mark the 150th anniversary of Confederation. The public safety minister does say that there will be seamless collaboration between law enforcement and intelligence agencies in the lead up to July 1st to make sure that Canadians stay safe. The minister also adds that Canada will not be intimidated by acts of violence like we saw in London. In Ottawa, Cormac McSweeney, City News.